What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Team Pizza Plays Enter the... <clears throat> Sorry. No, it, it's not you. I just, I screwed it up. I almost said Renowned Explorers again, and I could feel the pause in my voice. Now I feel sad, because we're not doing that series anymore. Oh, that's okay. We can, there's always Overwatch. <laughs> my computer can't run it. That's just sad. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Team Pizza Plays Enter the Gungeon. I, of course, am What the Fnu. And I am talking, talking to him about suspicious images. <laughs> and, oh, yes, yeah, so the Transformers Kiss... The Transformers Kiss Players line. It's... Yeah, everyone just goes, what was Japan thinking this time? Honestly, what were they thinking? Well, I mean, this is the same country that brought us a series where lesbians turn into weapons, so... But that's acceptable! <laughs> At least they're of age! I'd far more accept two of-age women turning each other into swords and guns by... Let's oh it up. dear, this gun is kind of abysmal. Although it reloads pretty quickly. I also started with a sawed-off shotgun, too. You ever wonder why it's called a sawed-off shotgun? No, actually. Well. Hold on. No, I know- I, I say that because I know the actual reason. It's because you shorten the barrel because it makes the spread end out wider. It makes the gun more dangerous. Mm-hmm. It's why- it's why sawing off the barrel of a shotgun is actually illegal in some states. Huh. You see, I didn't know that. And now I do. You, you know- you wanna know why I always thought it was called a sawed-off shotgun? Why? And- so bear with me. When you look at it from the side, mm -hmm. and it's got that, like, slender trapezoidal shape, I thought, with that shape, it looks like a saw. So I thought, the reason why it's called a sawed-off shotgun is because it looks like a saw from a distance. <laughs> no, no, you're thinking of Gears of War. Where your gun can also double as a saw. Gears of War is a magic... Gears of War is AAA industry, the game. Can you imagine? Uh, just be careful. Like, Pink really loves that series, and I'm pretty sure she'll hunt me down and kill me if I speak bad about it. <laughs> but that's the thing. It's like, I actually, the game's fantastic, and what, when I say it's AAA industry, the game, when you think of AAA industry, what do you think of? Generic, big, muscled, shaved head action guy. It's football players with chainsaw guns. That's the entire premise of that series. And there's got influence, and, and its and its main constituent is multiplayer, and it's first person. Well, it can be, it, it's it's shooter heavy as well, and you fight a monster that you don't have to feel much remorse about killing. You know, it's what everything we think of when we think of a triple A industry game, and yet. They, they, the characters actually develop. They're actually, it's actually pretty fun. Yeah. Like a lot of games are fun, especially AAA games. But this one, especially, it's even introduced something revolutionary that, what do you call it, the Shutter Run? Oh, the yeah. It, it was run. pretty much the game that. Like. N Gears of War is pretty much the series that invented the cover shooter. Yeah. Let's see here. It also proved to everyone that there, aside from waist-high air vents, there is nothing the Unity engine is better at rendering than guns and really muscular men. And if you don't believe us, if you haven't seen Gears of War, just type in Gears of War and see the gigantic McHuge guy that is your hero. <laughs> Dumb! Oh god, Dumb! Where is my wife? I want my family back. <laughs> Give me back my family. <laughs> Ooh, so we're gonna trade our Molotov for an ice bomb, it looks like. Fire or ice, your choice. Uh, you know what? We've been dealing with a lot of fire pyros. Go to ice. Alright. Now here's the funny thing about leaving items around. I'll come back to that in just a second. Because something funny actually happens if you leave something lying around for a little bit. If you walk away... And then you come back, 
you'll find a little note where your item was. Hmm. Thanks for the Molotov, jerk. RR. Thanks for stealing my crap, jackass. <laughs> this was a lot of stuff I had. I was storing it for the war. I think that's actually the developer's um, dodge roll's way of getting rid of excess items on the map. Like, maybe they introduced that as a way of uh, annihilating slowdown. That's just my guess, anyway. It's a creative way of... It's basically inventing a character to explain why your items disappear. It's like, oh, the this place has a rat problem. Okay, I get it. And they're pack rats, apparently, that steal your shit. It's like how in Metal Gear Rising Revenge is. All your... If you don't kill everyone on the... Oh, you bet. If you don't kill everyone on screen, and they are... If you don't kill everyone on screen, they kind of just limp around and then just sort of hop away. They either limp around or hop away and cloak, so that you so that now we don't have a, an unnecessary amount of assets on screen slowing down the game, and you have the in-universe logic of that guy escaped. I'm gonna go with the flare gun here because we need some kind of new weapon. Like, the sawed-off shotgun is great, but I, f I have a feeling the flare gun is going to be better. I so what does this do? Alright, set something on fire. Ooh. That That's actually one of my favorite weapons from Team Fortress 2, is the flare gun. Because you can set people on fire from a distance. You're basically doing the pyro's job. It is, exactly. Eh... Ignoring the fact that that is the Pyro's weapon. Like, he's the only one who can use the flare gun. Oh. You're basically the Pyro at that point. <laughs> so, what I, I love how the Pyro's... Hey, Pyro! Game. It's it's almost like you're a Pyro now. Who would have thought, right? That Pyro's a spy! I love how the Pyro... Pyro's story intro... Is basically showing that... Yes, you are very much in control of a cruel sociopath. <laughs> you ha you are controlling a character that not only enjoys killing, but is probably completely unaware of the fact. To the point where they might be suffering from disassociative disorder. But I think Matt Pat will take care of that. No, MatPat already did a video on the Pyro, though. Don't yeah, you remember? He... Yeah, is the Pyro a guy or girl? Well, thanks to the comics now, we have confirmed that one. Ooh, there's a comic confirmation? Let's check this out. Pyro... Booyah! Let's go take our secret here. What? What? Is it? There... Is there not... Is there nothing back here? Really? I went through all that trouble and there's nothing? No, don't you get it? You've got the coolest, darkest, bleakest, most brutal present of all. Nothing. <laughs> Ow, you guys suck! Oh, you guys suck! I can't believe <laughs> I can't do murder face. <laughs> And that's another thing I need to see more of, is Metalocalypse. Oh, dude. Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. I was going to show you some clips of something you also need to keep watching. I keep bringing up that one episode in streams and in episodes of this. All right. So, basically, we're going to be going back and forth between the sawed-off and the flare gun in this battle. When the fire... Oh, here we go. Gatling goal again. Yeah, yeah. Come on, buddy. We know who you are. I wish I could skip this animation, I really do. Well, just press caps lock. <laughs> Speaking of things that we had to scrap from the that particular run. Where was that? Oh yeah, so. Did you know they brought the Powerpuff Girls back? Yes, I did, and apparently it sucks. What? No, it's awesome. It it okay. You've seen it? it? Yeah. Huh. Because I've heard everybody say it's terrible. It's actually good. It's like when you compare it to the to the original series, 
some of the fights are a little slow, slower than the original series, how they had a lot of snappy erection. But most of it, the action's pretty well. And the voices are the new voices you have to get used to because it's not the original cast. Mm. But other than that, they they actually play off each other really well. They actually act like sisters. They mess with each other more often. Hmm. And when you really think about it, the original Powerpuff Girls series, well, fantastic. It, the it wasn't. The it wasn't perfect. I'll admit it, that. Yeah, it wasn't perfect. It was very much just three literally perfect little girls whose personalities were, were character traits more than anything. And they were fighting just what bizarre monsters that the creators of the show came up with by just thumbing through magazine articles at random. And in the new series, they go up against random crazy bullshit as well. And they actually have moments where they... Except Where the twist the... is, it's not quite as random anymore. It's still quite random. That's the thing, it's still quite random. It's very, that's the thing, it's actually very much like the original series, except they're, like, remember that episode with, uh, where Buttercup make, kept making fun of that kid who ate glue? Uh, yes. Kind and, of. And the whole episode was about her just needing to nut up and apologize. Yeah. There are more It's also a very effective anti-bullying campaign episode. Yep. There are actually more episodes like that, where the characters, where the where the girls are just going through, for lack of better words, a they're first... learning a moral. Mm-hmm. Which is good. They're... You need that in a kids' show every once in a while, and as long as you're self-aware about it too, like you know what you're doing. Like okay, one episode, like the like the episode I saw, Buttercup stole Octi from yes! Bubbles. Yes. Guess who's back? Back again. <laughs> oh yeah, Professor Screw Eyes! <laughs> well, I meant the gun too, but yeah, I pointed that out in the, in the last time we saw that. It's the Gatling Gull who keeps giving us this weapon too. I hope we keep fighting that boss for that reason. I hope every boss is the Gatling Gull. <laughs> I mean, it would certainly make our descent much easier. If we could actually not... get to the boss in the first place, that is. It's like that Old Spice commercial where all those bird portraits keep coming to life. <laughs> I, I we, don't think I've seen that one, actually. There's just one where there's nothing but birds just attacking this... Not attacking this guy, they just keep showing up. And... Tell your armpits to stop crying like a baby. <laughs> Oops. Well, that was kind of abysmal. Yeah, very wow, that thing does a lot of damage! Holy crap, this gun is incredible. You doing all right there, by the way? I know oh, somebody's yeah. trying to get your attention other than me right now. Oh, no, you don't. I died to a sniper last time. You fuck off and die. Oh, it's okay. I only have eyes for you. Wait. Not sure <laughs> how I feel about that. <laughs> is it, was that as gay as I wanted it to be? Can it be more gay? Can yeah, I dig yes. my- If the- if the question is, can I dig myself into a deeper hole, the answer is always yes. <laughs> can I make this hole deeper? Hey, the shovel hasn't broken. <laughs> it's just been stolen by the producer. Oh, it's so true. It's so true! Oh. I- I think that's why he- you know, that's actually a very symbolic thing, if you think about it. Like, he stole the shovel so that we can't dig ourselves into a deeper hole. That's why he's the producer. He keeps us from... He knows when to draw the line and say, Okay, we need to start actually... We need to ship this thing and actually, you know, give people a product now. Yeah, but I like digging ourselves into a... Notice how I said, I like digging us into a deep, deeper hole. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not claiming any... Any responsibility for this shit. It's like, see that? See that? Burning, that burning village over there? Drama did that, not us. <laughs> I'll do it again, too! We claim no responsibility for the actions of one of our residential artists. Except when it makes us money. Oh boy, this is the roughest part of any of these games, is when you've just got half a heart left. No! 
That's hubris for you, the instant you say it. I love that book. Your own slow reflexes. I love Thanks, that. assholes! <laughs> well, then. On that note, I think we're gonna call this episode. Are you kidding? There's plenty more death to happen. There is, but we'll have to save that for... We can't fit, the, fit it all into one video, so next time on Team Pizza Plays, enter the gungeon. I talk more about the Powerpuff Girls. Promise? Promise.